Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn creating keyboard shortcuts using JavaScript. Okay, let's get started. So here we are we inside the folder. Let me create an index.html file. Here we go with an index.html file. Let's create it. Okay. And I'm going to create an H1. Creating JavaScript shortcuts. And let's open this in the closing live server on my browser. Okay. So here I am. Now I am going to create a script tag. And within this, we will write down the keyboard shortcuts. So the purpose of keyboard shortcut is to if you want to capture the keys, like when the user press Y, A, B, or control Y, something like that. So you can use keyboard shortcuts to capture those keys. There are two different ways. First way you can use write down document dot on key down. Okay, and on key down you can assign a function. Let's call it E, and within that you can write down the complete functionality. Let me write down console.log and console.log I am going to write e dot key okay you can use to find out let me open the console window and let's click on my web page to get the focus and press any key I just press a and you can see I got the character a B C whatever I am pressing I am getting the key the next way is to document dot add event listener okay and in this one you can just write down key down and within that define an anonymous function define e okay here we are and the same if i will go and so if i press the same code over here and let me disable this one so you can see if I will still press any key Y T R it's working. So it's all up to you which way you wanna use it. Okay. So I am going with the add event listener one. So just going to remove this. Okay. Here we go. We have um, add document event listener with the key down and with a key. Let's me define some variable. Let's say vr key and key e dot which uh, which is a is a way to get the key code that we are looking let's define a character a variable placeholder and in this one a dot key okay let's display this console dot log and console dot log i'm going to write character Corrector and then I'm going to write in console.log the key. Okay, so you can see if I will press A over here, it is giving me A with the uh, key which is code which is uh, 65. So we are getting uh, 65 using E dot which which is this is a way to get the ASCII code so we can further control it or further process it. Next, uh, let's see how we can get the other one. Let's say console.log. We can also get uh, figure out if the user performed the control key. So we can find out that one as, as well. For this one, let me write down control key. Okay. Similarly, we have all the keys option available like shift all meta. Okay, let me call this shift e dot shift key. Then we have alt key. You can find out alt key. Okay, dot alt key. Then we have meta key. If you find out if user press the Windows key on your key on his keyboard, then you can use the meta key to find out if user press the this key. Okay, so here we are and let me click on this my browser and I'm going to press A. You can see A 
65 control key false shift key false alt key false meta key false okay now let me click again on my browser and just press control a so you can see control key is true and key is a which code is 65 so we can capture uh, all the keys let me refresh this and now i'm going to press shift s okay so you can see uh, the shift key is true now and s is giving me 83 so this is how we can get capture the key now let's build an example let's suppose i want to capture if user has press control ctr control key and we are looking if key the code is let's suppose 89 which is a code for y so if both condition will be true console.log uh, the message okay just suppose ctrl plus y pressed okay so here we go and now i am going to press a it's capturing let's suppose i am going to press control y now so you can see i got the message control y press because i press the control key similarly you can put any condition over here let's suppose you want to put a condition for shift y okay you can do this now i'm going to perform shift y so you can see uh, we got the shift key true but i didn't change the message so just quickly do this shift key and if i'm going to press shift y so shift y was pressed over here okay i hope you this will help you to understand creating keyboard shortcuts using javascript thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel